Okay, Greg gang, here's what's happening, okay? Right now, I'm actually in a fishing tournament, uh, and we're about to take off, like, right now. I didn't film anything before this, because, you know, it's dark, and there's really not much to film. We're going to catch them today. I promise. Not really, but that's what the hopes are. Okay, guys, so just a little update. It is confirmed. We are last place. We are last taking off, not last place. We will not be last place, I promise. Or at least that's what I hope for. What I want y'all to do is, because this is not going to be an easy tournament to win at all, go down in the comments and just wish me luck, guys. I mean, it's, it's not going to help because I'm not going to see it till after the tournament, but it'll help that much, okay? So just go down and wish me luck in the comments because I don't know. It'll do something good, hopefully, maybe. And hit the like button while you're down there. And if you're not subscribed and you like bass fishing tournaments, Hit the, hit the subscribe button because we're going to be doing a lot of them. We got, I think, the next maybe four or five weekends or something. Straight bass fishing tournaments. Nothing else. But anyways, guys, here we go. We're about to take off. Let's go. Okay guys, here we go. We're at our first spot. I just want to give y'all a little disclaimer. I've never been here before this year. I have been here in the past and I'll be honest, I like it. It's a pretty good lake to me. But yeah guys, we're out here fishing day. We're just going to give it a go. See what we can do. Throw a little bit of stuff. Just fish pre-spawn. Try to find where they are. It's basically all we're doing. We're just going to fish early, fish all over the place. See if we can find out where the fish are. Right here, honestly, this water is pretty muddy. We may have to go find clearer water because, well, yeah, this is this is pretty muddy water, and I don't like to fish muddy water, especially right now. Okay, guys. Well, the GoPro battery died, and I'm uh, I just caught this giant small um, spotted bass that is on a jerk bait right here, right there at the marina. Not really a marina, but a little boat dock. I saw a ball bait fish at 10 feet. I was like, well, that's cool. Threw right at it, popped it a few times. Boom. Got him. He's got to be 12 inches long to keep him. I'm about positive he's 12 inches. Yeah, he's 12 inches, but um, uh, this is the first fish of the day. Okay, guys, so here's what happened. The first beginning of the day, it was bluebird skies, and there was no wind at all. All of a sudden, like, it just turned on. Like, the clouds came over, and now we got a really good chop on the water. I was in 60 foot of water, but that spotted bass right there, he was actually suspending. And, uh... Well, yeah, he bit my jerk bait. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna turn on the GoPro. I didn't have it turned on just because it was a pretty slow. It wasn't biting very good, well, at all. But I'm gonna turn on the GoPro and I'm just gonna keep fishing this dock because I think I think they're about to start biting. There's another one. That's a nice one, man. Get the net, hurry, get the net. No, I got him. I'll flip him. I'll flip him. He's okay. You better let me get him. Okay. Another spotted bass. He barely makes it. He's like 12 and 1 one fiftieth. Oh my goodness. There's another one. This is a good one. Get the net on this one. This is a really nice one. Here go. Give me the net. Here, let me net it. Here we go. This might be a large mouth. This is another spot. He's barely hooked. He's barely hooked. Got him. There we go. We found us a little, we have found us a little school of spotted bass right here at this marina. Oh man, he was barely hooked. He about came off, but uh, they're really chunky right now. It's pre-spawn. They've been feeding up. Get the pink one out. But um, uh, hey, if I can get five small and um, little spotted bass, that'll give me a little comfort to, you know, get out, maybe throw an A-rig, try to get some larger um, uh, large mouth. But as of right now, if I can get five of these things, that'll give me a little comfort. I hit him with it, but that's fine. Okay, guys, so right there, we have four out of the five fish we need to get a limit. And um, uh, that one right there, it actually came off of an A-rig. Now, this one's got like 18 blades on it, and I did catch them on my first cast. It may turn out to be that they may be keying in on big balls of shad instead of a single shad like my jerk bait. So, you know, we're gonna throw this A-rig around a little bit, see if we can get some more strikes on it. Once we get five fish, I'm probably gonna, you know, go for some large mouth. I'm not sure where, but that's my plan. Once I get five little uh, spotted bass to get a limit, 
then I'll slow it down a little bit, try to go find some bigger large mouth, or maybe a big small mouth, I'm not sure yet. Right there, as soon as I stopped it, that's what I done. I actually stopped a rig to play with the camera. And this guy's a pretty good one. There he is. Yeah, that'll definitely, uh, there's five. We got five fish, baby, let's go. We got a good limit. Well, I'll take that back. Not a good limit, but we do have a limit. We do. He is uh, definitely 12 inches. Now I'm gonna stay here a little bit longer since I do still have five fish. Try to get some bigger spotted bass than those two smallest ones I got. So here you go, Dad. Take it. All right, there we go. Let's keep fishing and try to get some more bigger ones. Okay, guys, almost to end midday update. It is like, it's 2 o'clock, it's 2.07, weigh-ins at 3. Here's what we got. I did catch a few fish off camera, but they were just big spotted bass. They, you know, culled some of our smaller ones. Now, I will say, we have five spotted bass, but those spotted bass are honestly... They're like a pound and a half a piece. The problem has been finding either a smallmouth or a largemouth that'll bite. Like we can catch some, we can catch little spotted bass, but nothing else is biting at all. And we've talked to some other people around here and they're saying the same exact thing, that maybe a few spotted bass will bite, but like they can't get the largemouth or smallmouth to bite. And I understand because like I've not got a bite all day, but that's the thing. We have about as big spotted bass as you can get in this lake sort of. We got a pretty good average size of them. So with my 30 minutes I have left, what I gotta do is I just gotta go throw a Hail Mary and try to get a large mouth because if i can catch a good large mouth that may put me like a whole lot of spots up because a good large mouth right now he'll weigh about three four pounds easy these spotted bass like i said a pound and a half max I have no idea. Let's go see. Five. What's your boat number? Forty-eight. Eight point oh eight. Here you go. I'm gonna let him hold them. Now. No, you go. You go hold them. I'll go ahead. Hey, what you tell I'm gonna get you in a video. Ah, uh, you got. It. You get this. Slide over so you go. Keith's gonna help. <laughs> Take him down and turn him loose. There we go. Nice job, young man. Thank you. Well, Greg, gang, y'all heard that. New leader, baby. At least for a few minutes, anyways. Eight pounds worth of spotted bass. Like, bro, that is insane. There you go, little base. Oh, come on, bud. There we go. And there goes the last one. All five of them, good. Good shape, perfect. You weighed in another, like three more teams weighed in, but they only weighed in two about line, line burner spots a piece. Howdy, how you nice doing? Thank you. We reckon, boys. Tough day, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. Bad. How'd y'all do? I had five or eight. He's leading it right now. Oh, really? Yeah. Did y'all catch any large mouth or small mouth? We had we one spot. I thought I could get the bite with spotted bass. I done everything I knew what to do. We like every nothing. single thing, and I, nothing did. worked for a large mouth. Place. And in first place, we have Kendall Gray from Dawson with eight pounds and eight ounces. Well, we're just going to keep it. We should give it away. <laughs> we should do a drawing. That's what we should do. Let's do it, because I, I won. And here's my partner. Everybody's my partner. <laughs> give it away. <laughs> yeah, draw a tip. Low chip. And whoever caught the biggest fish out of that team gets it. That's a good idea. Yeah.
I'm just jumping in here for a second to clarify. This was a team tournament, which means, you know, you had you and your partner. But with me, how I was alone, I, you know, I was, I was solo. It's just one of me. But since it was a team tournament, they were prepared for two winners, which means they had two reels and two plaques that they were going to give away to first place. And so whenever they called me to go up there to, you know, get the reel, um, well, they only wanted to give me one, and I was fine with that. Like, I only wanted one reel. But as for the second reel, listen, I had plans for that. With the second reel, I wanted to do a giveaway at the tournament. And right now, I do want to say one thing. There's about 30 boats in the tournament at least 15 of them were gray gangsters it was awesome it was sort of like a little meet and greet and i just want to let y'all know that if you do see me in a tournament because i am going to be fishing quite a few high school bass fishing tournaments come up and talk to me like hey just come on i'm just you know out here i guess but since there were so many gray gangsters at that tournament i stopped the lady and made sure that we could do a giveaway and here's how that played out 14 let me see who was team 14 that's the easiest way to do it how did you pick one of the numbers that was missed give me a different one 30. You suck at this. 48. That's the last one, wasn't it? That's him. That's him. That's him. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. Kendall, you got it. Yeah. 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 Time to go on. Come on, Brett. Boat three is Noah Lake, Logan Redmond, Ben Redmond. And so it worked out. We had the other reel to give away to a gray gangster. I guess you'd call that a giveaway, you know, a little special giveaway at the tournament there. But right here is what they gave me, you know, first place little plaque right there. I'm covering up the name of the lake just because we're going to keep that a secret unless you already know. But over here, I also got this Slew's Mach 2 Speed Spool. Or Speed Spin, my bad. We'll pull it out here. It's just like a little, you know, it's like their little uh, Mach 2, which is like the version 2 of the Mach 1 spinning reel. Pretty good spinning reel. 10 ball bearings, we'll definitely be putting that to you. Pretty cool, pretty cool. But I mean, guys, after this tournament, I just want to thank y'all because like there is so many gray gangsters out there that i can't even i can't even imagine just at this one tournament there was so many gray gangsters there it was amazing and i mean just the vibe at this tournament it was so great and i mean what i mean by that is that everybody was friends nobody was mad that they lost hand them a it is raining, so I'm going to make this quick. But it was just a, such a good vibe, guys. I don't know what else to say. I will do the notification squad right now. Here we go. Today's favorite squad goes to Chance Ghost right there, along with Hunter Foster. It was your comment that you left at the beginning of this video. And it's not just your comments. It's the overall support by the Grey Gang. Like, the Grey Gang is strong, people. Way stronger than I ever imagined. And I do want to give a real quick shout out to the sun for burning my face. I am burnt. And I'm wrong. But anyways, guys, click up here if you're new, if you want to subscribe. Click right here where my finger's doing crazy stuff to watch, a, you know, my last video if you hadn't seen it. And click right about here where my, I don't know, 